And welcome to Hannity. We begin tonight with a Fox News alert. Police body cam footage showing the attack against Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, will be released, we expect, at any moment. Now, thanks to a ruling from a California judge, as soon as this video becomes available, we, of course, will show it to you right here on this program. Also, stay tuned tonight. The great one, Mark Levin, will be with us. We have the Hannity hot seat. Last call tonight. A liberal socialist that called my radio show today got very interesting. We'll see what grade we get. But first, we begin tonight on Capitol Hill, where two middle-aged men from California are literally throwing a temper tantrum. You got Eric Swalwell and Adam Schiff, the congenital liar, uh, likely still quivering with rage after learning that their relationship and their membership to the all-powerful House Intelligence Committee is no more. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy removed them from this committee, and for good reason. According to reports, Congressman Swalwell, well, remember, he was once a patsy for the Chinese government after getting seduced by a woman named Fang Fang. You can't even make this up in a novel. An undercover agent for the Communist Party of China. Unfortunately, this was not a one-night stand, apparently a full-blown relationship. In fact, there are, there are the two lovebirds right there together for quite some time, and the Chinese spy even helped Eric raise money for his re-election. Adam, the congenital liar Schiff, well, meanwhile, he didn't manage to have any special relations with any Chinese spies. Uh, who can blame them? But he was duped by a Putin-linked Russian radio show. Remember during that recorded uh, phone call with the Russian pranksters? Adam Schiff, absolutely giddy. So we wanted to hear all about the compromising... Adam Schiff removing him from the Intel Committee. Intel committee. Is, is Santos on the Intel Committee? Am I allowing Schiff, am I allowing Schiff to be on other committees? Go right ahead. Respectfully, thank you. You said that lying to us is something that means you should be removed from the intelligence committee, but why is it not a factor? In well, let me be very clear. This is a man who should not be on committee, something you do have power of. He's got elected by his district. So, okay, let, let me be very clear and respectful to you. You ask me a question. When I answer it, it's the answer to your question. You don't get to determine whether I answer your question or not, okay? In all respect. Thank you. No, no. Let's answer her question. You just raised a question. I'm going to be very clear with you. The Intel Committee is different. You know why? Because what happens in the Intel Committee, you don't know. What happens in the Intel Committee, although the secrets are going on in the world, other members of Congress don't know. What did Adam Schiff do as the chairman of the Intel Committee? What Adam Schiff did, use his power as a chairman and lie to the American public. Even the Inspector General said it. But I will not be like Democrats and play politics with these, where they removed Republicans from committees and all committees. So yes, he can serve on a committee, but he will not serve on intel, because it goes to the national security of America. And I will always put them first, all right? And if you want to talk about Swalwell, let's talk about Swalwell, because you have not had the briefing that I had. I had the briefing and Nancy Pelosi had the briefing from the FBI. The FBI never came before this Congress to tell the leadership of this Congress that Eric Swalwell had a problem with a Chinese spy until he served on intel. So it wasn't just us who were concerned about it. The FBI was concerned about putting a member of Congress on the intel committee that has the rights to see things that others don't because of his knowledge and relationship with a Chinese spy. But you know what? Those voters elected Schiff, even though he lied. Those voters elected Swalwell, even though he lied to the American public, too. So you know what? I'll respect his voters, too, and they'll serve on committees. But they will not serve on a place that has national security reverence because integrity matters to me. That's the answer to your question. <laughs>